Best Tool Hacks for Woodworking, Woodworking Ideas. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Hand. Whether you're a seasoned woodworker or just starting out, you know that having the right tools can make all the difference in the quality and efficiency of your work. But what if you could take those tools to the next level with some simple hacks and modifications? In this video, we'll show you some of the best tool hacks for woodworking that can help you get more out of your tools save time and money, and take your woodworking skills to the next level. And don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you're subscribed and what you think of this video. We'll reply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for that. Number 10, Disc Grinder. A disc grinder can be used to sharpen woodworking tools such as chisels, plane blades, and gouges. You can create a sharpening jig that holds the tool at the correct angle and allows you to get a precise sharp edge. You can create a sanding disc attachment that fits onto the disc grinder and allows you to use it as a sander. Attach a sanding disc to the attachment and use it to sand flat surfaces or edges of wood pieces. A disc grinder with a cutting disc can be used to cut mortises into wood pieces. Simply mark the location on the mortise on the wood and use the disc grinder to cut the mortise to a desired depth. A disc grinder can be used to create custom wood carving tools. Attach a metal cutting disc to the grinder and shape the metal into the desired shape for a carving tool. Then attach the shaped metal to a wooden handle for a custom carving tool. Number 9. Electric Drill you can create a drilling guide that attaches to the drill chuck and helps you drill pilot holes at a precise angle and depth. This is particularly useful for drilling holes for screws or dowels. You can create a makeshift lathe by attaching a piece of wood to the drill chuck and securing it to the workbench. This allows you to shape the wood piece with a chisel or other woodworking tool while the drill rotates it. You can use the electric drill as a sander by attaching a sanding drum or a sanding disc to the drill. This is useful for sanding flat or curved surfaces, or for sanding small pieces of wood. You can create a custom countersink for shaping a metal bit with a disc grinder and attaching it to the grill chuck. This allows you to drill a hole and create a countersink in one step, saving time and effort. Number 8. Trim Router you can create a homemade edge guide that attaches to the base of the trim router, allowing you to make precise cuts along the edge of a piece of wood. This is particularly useful for trimming veneer or edging. You can create a mortising jig that holds the trim router in a fixed position, allowing you to create precise mortises for joinery. This is particularly useful for making mortises for furniture pieces. You can use the trim router to create custom edge profiles on wood pieces. Attach a router bit to the trim router and shape the edge of the wood piece with precision. You can use the trim router to create a custom inlay by cutting a recess in a wood piece and filling it with a contrasting wood or other material. This can add a decorative element to a woodworking project. Number 7. Digital Angle Meter You can use a digital angle meter to set up tools such as table saw blades or miter saws at precise angles, ensuring accurate cuts. You can use the digital angle meter to determine the angle of bevels on wood pieces, as well as the angles of existing joints, ensuring that replacement parts fit perfectly. You can use the digital angle meter to create custom jigs and fixtures that hold wood pieces at specific angles for drilling, cutting, or sanding. You can use the digital angle meter to check for level and plumb on wood pieces or structures, ensuring that they are straight and properly aligned. You can use the digital angle meter to measure and mark angles for joints and cuts, ensuring accurate and precise cuts. Number 6. Epoxy Putty you can use epoxy putty to fill gaps and holes in wood pieces. This is particularly useful for repairing damaged or weathered wood or for filling gaps in furniture pieces. You can use epoxy putty to create custom molds for casting or replicating wood pieces. This is useful for creating decorative elements or for making replacements for damaged parts. You can use epoxy putty to create textured surfaces on wood pieces. This is useful for creating decorative elements such as carved designs or patterns. You can use epoxy putty to reinforce joints in wood pieces. Apply a small amount of epoxy putty to the joint before clamping it together, creating a stronger, more durable joint. You can use epoxy putty to repair and restore wood pieces, including fixing cracks, chips, and other damage. The putty can be sanded, stained, and painted to match the surrounding wood. Number 5. Spring You can use springs to create custom clamps for holding wood pieces together while glue dries. Simply attach the spring to a piece of wood or a clamp 
and use it to apply pressure to the wood pieces. You can create custom jigs and fixtures that hold wood pieces at specific angles for drilling, cutting, or sanding. To create a sawdust scraper that prevents sawdust buildup on your saw blade, Attach a spring to a piece of wood and use it to scrape sawdust off the blade. As you work, use springs to create custom hinges for wood pieces. Simply attach the spring to the wood pieces and use it to provide tension and movement. You can use springs to provide tension to the tools and machinery, such as belt sanders or drill presses. Attach a spring to the tool or machine and use it to provide tension and ensure smooth operation. Number four, linear motion rod. You can use linear motion rods to create a sliding table for your table saw. This can be especially useful for making precise cross cuts or for cutting large sheets of plywood. Create a custom router table that allows for precise movement and adjustment of the router bits. Make a precision sliding jig that holds your workpiece at a specific angle and allows for precise cuts or drilling. To create a movable fence for your miter saw, allowing you to make precise and accurate cuts, create a custom sanding station that allows for precise movement and control over the sanding process. Number three, linear bushing. You can use linear bushings to create a precision cutting sled for your table saw or miter saw. The linear bushings can provide smooth and accurate movement of the sled. Custom router lift that allows for precise and smooth adjustments of the router bit height. To create a precision drilling jig that holds your workpiece in place and allows for accurate drilling at specific angles. A movable carriage for your bandsaw allowing for smooth and accurate movement of the wood piece being cut. Use linear bushings to create a custom sanding station that allows for smooth and precise movement of the sanding belt or disc. Number two, hose band. You can use hose bands to create custom jigs for holding wood pieces together while glue dries. Simply attach the hose band to a piece of wood or a clamp and use it to apply pressure to the wood pieces. To build custom dust collection systems for your power tools, attach the hose band to a piece of flexible hose and connect it to your tool's dust port for efficient dust collection. It is used to create custom tool holders for your power tools or hand tools. Simply attach the hose band to a piece of wood or a pegboard and use it to hold the tool in place. To secure power cords to the leg of your workbench or to the wall, keeping them out of the way and preventing tripping hazards. Create custom clamps for holding wood pieces together while you work. Simply attach the hose band to a piece of wood or a clamp and use it to apply pressure to the wood pieces. Are you enjoying our video? Before we continue with the number one, please make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Also turn on notifications so you don't miss out on more amazing videos from us. Let's continue to see the tool hacks. Number one, wood planer. A wood planer, also known as a thickness planer, can be a useful tool for woodworking. You can use a wood planer to create custom molding for your woodworking projects. Simply adjust the blades of the planer to the desired angle and depth and run your wood through the planer. You can use a wood planer to create custom floating shelves for your home. Plane down the rough edges of a wood board and cut it to the desired length. Then install the shelf brackets and attach the shelf to the wall. You can use a wood planer to create custom cutting boards for your kitchen. Plane down the rough edges of a wood board and cut it to the desired size. Then sand and seal the board to make it food safe. You can use a wood planer to create custom cabinet doors for your kitchen or bathroom. Plane down the rough edges of a wood board, cut it to the desired size and shape, and then install the hinges and knobs. You can use a wood planer to create custom picture frames for your home. Plane down the rough edges of a wood board, cut it to the desired size and shape, and then install the glass and backing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you're subscribed and what you think of this video. We will reply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for that.